Hi, in this video, I am going to explain the functions push and pop through some codes. Now, before push and pop, you must know that when we initialize a stack, we usually do that by assigning the top value as minus 1. What does that mean is the top is now here out of the stack. So, we know that this stack is now empty. Let's see what the push function will do now. Push function takes a parameter. This can be integer, this can be character based on your requirement. Now, in the push function, what we have to do? We have to enter the element in the stack. Now, first we have to increment the top position from here to here. First we have to increment the top position. Then we have to just enter the element at that position. So stack top equals x. This x. Okay. It was as simple as that. What this will do? It will increment the top position. So the top comes here and you enter an element into here. As simple. Now let's see what the pop function does. Pop has no uh, parameter but it has a return value. It can be integer, it can be a character. Okay, now what we have to do in the pop, in the pop function, uh, we have to take out the value from the stack. So let's take that, take the current value out of the stack. and return that value. Now see that before returning that value we have to update the position of the top. Suppose there was another element in here. Now if we remove this item from the stack we have to update the position of the top. That will ensure that when you do uh, when you perform pop again it will pop out this value. As well as if you want to perform the push function in this, it will push the push the new element at, at this position. Since this, this element was removed earlier in the pop function. So for doing that, we need to decrement the position of the top. This will update the top value to its correct position. Now there are two other functions which are a bit important in stacks. Uh, is a function to check if the uh, stack is empty or not. Now remember we assigned the top value minus 1 when the stack was empty. We can use this as a condition in our function like if top equals to equals to minus 1 the stack is empty obviously so we return 1 else the stack is not empty return 0 simple another function is to check if the stack is full or not now how when when can the stack be full if the top position is equal to the stack size uh, at that point or at that instance the stack is full so if top is less than stack size then what if top is less than stack size then obviously the stack is not full so we return the pos uh, return zero in this condition else the stack is full else return 1. If top is less than stack size return 0 else return 1. Top can be less than stack size or equals to stack size in the in any condition. So I hope this uh, I hope all the functions are pretty clear now and the uh, stack is fairly clear now in your mind. Thank you.